Hello. I could eat about a million and a half of these. Well, nobody's perfect. Welcome to the It's a Drama podcast. Daddy, I love you. My mother thanks you. If you can't say something nice. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. Hello and welcome to It's a Drama, the podcast that gives you on the ground, honest advice and tips about all things travel and lifestyle. And today in a sort of mini series, I suppose this is because I have got American relatives staying with us here in New Zealand. And I thought it would be really, really great to interview American people (laughs) who are in New Zealand for the first time and just chat to them. Now, Um, Last week I interviewed Mark, Brian's cousin, and that was just a great interview. Um, We've had lots of great feedback about that. But today I have got Mark's travel companion, Ed, who is... um, How old are you, Ed? I'm 86. (laughs) Yeah, welcome to the podcast. Hello. Glad to be here. (laughs) So, you know, I am totally blown away because... When you move to New Zealand, Ed, people don't just say, I'm not going to come because it's too far and it's too expensive. One of the main, a big thing that people tend to say is, oh, no, 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 I'm too old, like 65-year-olds, I'm too old to make that trip now. I'm past that now. And here you are, Uh you've come to New Zealand. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Please, could you just... Um, introduce yourself and let me know and the listeners know a little bit about yourself, please, Ed. Okay. I'm Ed Nicoletta. I'm from Rochester, New York, USA, and glad to be here, <laughs> having a wonderful time. It's a great country here, especially the topography. I can't get over that. And right. the people are very nice. And everybody seems to be very sociable. Could you just give me a little bit of your background, what you did for a job? For are you, you're, you're obviously retired. How yes. long have you been retired? I've been retired about 20 years. Okay, and what did you do for a living? Well, I did several things. I worked for the New York State Highway Department right out of high school. Uh, then I went in the Navy for a few years. I came out and... Uh, Worked for a, a fellow that I met at the highway department who went in business for himself as a civil engineer. I worked for him about 30 years and then uh, went into business for myself as a land surveyor. Right. And that's when I retired. <laughs> so you were a surveyor? Yeah, land surveyor. Yeah, okay. Some people don't know what a land surveyor is. Go on, go on. I'm, I'm look, Ed, look at me. I'm smiling going, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Tell me what a land surveyor is, Ed. <laughs> well, land surveyors just measure the land, you know, right. measure properties. And Were you one of those people that walked around with a little wheel that, you know, like, you know? No, not no? a wheel. What we, is it? Tape measure? Uh, yes. We yeah. used a tape measure then, but today everything is done electronically. Mm. Back then, we used tapes and, uh, you know, put the instrument on a tripod and put it over your shoulder and walked around measuring things. Yeah, yeah. Getting angles and distances and stuff like that. And uh, it was fun work. Yeah. Yeah. So how come you are in... How come you're sitting in my house in New Zealand, Ed? (laughs) How did you get to New Zealand? (laughs) Because I was very graciously asked to, if I'd like to come here. And, of course, I jumped at the chance. Cause I've always wanted to be in this part of the world and uh, not in a military way. Right, okay. <laughs> so, uh, no, I wouldn't hesitate for a minute to come here. I uh, enjoyed every minute of it. Did it ever cross your mind? I hope, I hope I'm not overstepping the line here, but did it ever cross your mind oh, I'm too old to go to New Zealand. I'm 86 and I'm too old. Did it ever cross your mind? No. No? No. I, I love to travel. And uh, any time I can see something I've never seen before, I'm up for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I need to know because, honestly, I'm, I, I spoke about this on the podcast last week with Mark. 
you've blown me away to be honest Ed. I've told you this before because you're just it's just like having an you know like a like Brian's age guy you know you're you're up for everything you're you never complain you just first one up you know like you're you know it's just I, oh, I need to know your secret Ed <laughs> when I, you need to tell us your secret <laughs> when I'm enjoying myself I'll go out of my way to have a good time and uh I want to just do what everybody else does. I don't want to be different. Yeah. I like to go with the flow, as you might say. Yeah. And that's my philosophy. Just don't make waves and have fun. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Um, are you in good health? To me, you're in perfect health, but I don't know anything about your health past. But are you in good health? I have my issues, yeah. but uh, nothing that's uh, going to affect keep me from doing what I want to do. Right. Um, so I know you've had a knee operation? I yes, yeah. I had a knee replacement, and um, that's about it. I, uh, I've had pretty good luck about uh, not getting hurt too much. Yeah, yeah. Do you know uh, what I put it down to, Ed? I think it. I put it down to your love of red wine. <laughs> <laughs> Something that me and you share in common. <laughs> yeah, well, I do like red wine. <laughs> Believe me now, now I've seen you and I'm like, never going, I'm never going to stop drinking red wine because it's obviously done something brilliant for you. <laughs> oh yeah. The glass a day keeps the doctor yeah, away. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to ask you just to be, just to be clear. So did, was there anything you had to tell your insurance company or the airline or, so you're 86, you've had a knee replacement and you want to go to New Zealand. Was it easy? Was, how, how was that? Nobody asked me about my health. Didn't they? Not a, not a thing, no. And uh, I didn't have to notify my insurance company or anything. I just put up the money and bought a ticket yeah, and here just, I am. You just got on the plane. Yeah, no problem. Tell me, Ed, how long was the flight? 16 hours. Right. Yeah, from Chicago. So, how was that? How was... How was sitting on a plane for 16 hours? Oh, it wasn't uh, my favorite thing to do. Mm. But uh, I would endure anything to make this trip. Oh. Yeah. Really. Were you just finding that you just had to keep getting up and walking around? Or what? How? If someone was coming over and they were like, oh, I can't face doing a 16-hour trip, what would you... What advice, because you've done it, so what advice would you give them, would you say? I would say just put up with it, that's all. <laughs> oh, uh, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> just put up with it, yeah. My sort of person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it's, there's a lot worse ways to travel, I'll tell you that. <laughs> do you think that's because you've been in the military that you're like hardened up? Or? I think so, because yeah. uh, traveling overseas on a troop ship is... a uh, Something you don't want to do if you don't have to. <laughs> okay. It's not the very pleasant way to do. No. Because I noticed when you turned up, you had a you've got a tiny little bag with you, uh -huh. and you've been here. What? How long have you been here? Two weeks. Yep, yeah. Yeah. Two weeks. And you've literally come with an overnight. Uh, 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 what what I would call an overnight bag is small. Y yes. Well. What have you come with? How many t-shirts? T-shirts? Yeah, like how many tops have you come with? Well, let's see. I got five dress shirts. I've got a half a dozen T-shirts, underwear, socks, and um, that's about a shaving yeah. kit. Yeah. Which I don't use much. <laughs> no, because you've got a lovely white beard. <laughs> yeah, so, I've decided yeah. not to shave. It's too much trouble. I'll wait till I get home. Oh, okay. Are you are you normally clean shaven? No. No, you've, you've I mean, always got beard. This part here, I have to shave. Yeah, oh. right, okay. So, that's about all. So, oh, I, I can't, honestly, I can't stress enough. I'm so glad you came, Ed, because, yeah, I, I can't stress enough how, how in awe I feel of you, both Brian and yeah, I. Too. Yeah, that's Brian nice. is over there on the sound, and it, it's almost like you, you just, yeah, you... <laughs> We're so impressed because when Ed said, when Mark said, oh, you know, I mean, I, I knew you because I'd been to Rochester. So I knew uh, you weren't going to be like this old person that's, you know, like walking around on crutches or whatever, you know. But I didn't expect you to be quite so up there and just get on with it, you know, just yeah. and I just it just makes me so happy because it gives me and I hope people who are listening to this 
you know, you can do it because you've Absolutely. done it. So Absolutely. It's it's if it's something you really want to do, nothing should stand in your way. No. And uh, I wanted to do this, so. <laughs> What's the longest flight you've ever been on before? Just that was oh, the okay. longest flight. I've taken flights to England, but they're only what six or seven hours. Yeah. Now this is definitely the longest flight, but uh, it's, it wasn't that bad. Mm. I mean, uh, they have the TV screen there, and you can watch TV or sleep or whatever yeah yeah but, uh, it wasn't bad at all so you say that um new zealand was always on your bucket list what stopped you from coming to new zealand what what what's why haven't you done it sooner why haven't i done it before mm, just sooner why didn't you come before yeah oh well <laughs> i was never offered a, a, the chance to come here no and uh i probably never would have come if someone hadn't offered to uh, yeah. take me in Okay. And uh, be so gracious. Oh. You're so, such a lovely hostess. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> you do everything. You're a great cook. I'm perfect, aren't I, Ed? Yes, you are. <laughs> really. Please note this, Brian. Look, I do it. He just said, she does everything. Yeah, does She's everything. a great cook. <laughs> <laughs> you just listen to that, Brian. Yeah, <laughs> and I even saw you wheelbarrow a load of wood oh, yeah. the other day yep. and I feel so bad that I didn't do it for you. No, <laughs> you're the guest. There's nothing I can't do, Ed. Nothing. I know. <laughs> I, I can see that. Yeah. No. I just hope, I please, I hope that when I'm 86, I'm still traveling. Yeah. That's what I keep, me and Tess talked about it the other day and she's like, oh, do you know what? I just hope that when I get to that age, I'm like that because... Yeah, I don't want to keep going on about, you know, how people get to a certain age and they're like, oh, I'm nearly 70, I can't make the trip. And, oh, come on, you know. Yeah. It's not, you've proved it, so. Yeah, I, well, like I said, I love to travel. So what was your first impression when you got off? What, what's your first impression? Tell me about New Zealand. What was your first impression? Oh, like I said, the topography. I've never seen land that was so up and down and, <laughs> is that what topography means? Is it just means yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's varied? All the hills and okay. valleys and yeah. the river and the wild growth yeah. and the trees. Uh, everything was just breathtaking. It's, uh, I wouldn't have missed it for the world. No. So the scenery has really taken you back. Yes. And, yeah. scen I've never seen scenery like this. I don't know if there's scenery like this anywhere in the world. But... Uh, no, it was very worthwhile coming here, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yeah, um, I've enjoyed every minute. Have you felt, um, obviously, well, I hope you felt safe, but do you, do you feel as if, like, it's a safe country for an older person to visit? Do you feel like, you know, how do you feel about all that side of it? You'd... Oh, definitely. I yeah. mean, I haven't seen, you don't hear very many horns honking and or people shouting at mm. each other everybody seems to be happy and very courteous yeah and uh just a great place to visit i would come here again in a minute <laughs> how are you how are you getting over that because how are you not one of these people that say oh yeah but i would go to new zealand but what if i get ill because let's face it you're 86 so yeah. it's like what you know what did how did that not bother you or did you just think I don't care, or what? Well, I know that uh, no matter where you go, if, if something happens to you, uh, people will take care of you. I mean, yeah. that's the way people are. Yeah. They're not going to let you, uh, you know, not do anything for you. If they see you're in pain, nobody's going to stand around and just look at you. Mm, no. I'm sure that's true all over the world. Yeah, yeah. I, do you know what? I think exactly the same. Yeah. People said to us, you know, like when we went to India, like, oh, what if you get ill? It's like, well, people live in India. If they get ill, they get, you know, people are, you, you can go to the doctor. It's fine. You know, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. you're not just going to die at the side of the street, are you? So, no, no, it's been very nice. I can't imagine uh, not coming here. If I had the chance, I would come anytime. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think your because your wife Anita would you like to bring Anita back? Oh yeah, I'm sure she'd love it here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 
all the flowers and the foliage. It's uh, just beautiful here. Mm. You've come at a nice time of year as well. So we're yeah. recording this podcast in February, beginning of February. So it yeah. is the the height of our summer. How have you found the weather? Have you found it too hot? Too? I mean, we, have, we haven't had great weather, have we, while you've been here? No, but I didn't expect uh, every day to be sunny and nice. Mm. You, you just take what you get, you know. It's like when I travel to England, sometimes they'll say, well, you came at a bad time. We get a lot of rain and wind and everything. And I say, I didn't come here for the weather. I came here for the people. Hmm. You know? Have you had a chance to meet any local Kiwis? Have you chatted to anyone? Or? Yeah, I talked to a guy today on a, uh, on a bench out in the street. As you do, Ed. As you do. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty well. We understood each other. Yeah? How old was he? How old was he? Yeah. Oh, I would have to say he's probably uh, 65 or 70. Right. Yeah. I hope you told him your age. No, that never came up. <laughs> and what was he? So, what were you talking about? Well, actually, we didn't talk a lot. He was waiting for his wife, who was shopping in a store there. So we were just sitting outside, like men do at home. Yeah, yeah. We don't go in those shops. We just stay outside and wait. <laughs> so I don't know if he was happy about it or not, but uh, you know. I was afraid to ask him any, too many questions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you uh, found New Zealand to be vastly different from the United States? The what? Have you found it to be different? You know, like the 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 feel of the place, or the, you know, the way the people are. Oh yeah, yeah, very different. How? Why? What would you say? Well, I think people are more polite here and quiet and. And nice to each other. See, I found the opposite. I found Americans to be super polite. Well. I did. You know, when we went to New York, they were like, yes, ma'am. And like, you're welcome, ma'am. Just everyone yeah. was like really polite and, oh, excuse me. Like if you bumped into them, they'd be, oh, they're not like that. Was it all a show, Ed? No, I uh, I think people are uh, nice everywhere. It's, mm. uh, you just have to look at for the good things in people. Oh, you're so right. <laughs> you're so right because if you do look for the horrible things in people, you see horrible things, don't right. you? And the yeah. opposite, if you look for the good in people, yeah. you know, without sounding like, oh, but but it's true. It's yeah. so true. Yes, it is. Um, I don't know. I just like being around people, I guess. <laughs> it's the uh, same at home, you know. I go out with a group of guys every week and uh, have a few beers and laugh and tell jokes and have fun. Are your friends travelers? No, unfortunately. Uh, uh, they don't have the opportunity. They're all, oh, most of them are still working, so mm. they can't take off whenever they want to. Still working? Oh, yeah. you, oh, that's right. You told me all your friends are like in their 60s or something. Yeah, they're all... That's why you're so young, Ed. They're, yeah, they're it, all uh, yeah. 60, 70 years old. Do you think that's why you've got such a, like a young attitude because you hang around young people? I think so, yeah. yeah. I don't uh, I don't see... Well, first of all, most of my friends have passed away now. So right. uh, you have to talk to anybody who'll listen. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, it's too bad. Because I was going to ask you, and I know I keep going on about it, but what what what's your secret? You know, what is it? What why? How are you so easy and laid back and nice and just what 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 have you done right? If you could look back over your life and someone said, "What is it you've done right?" What, what what's your secret? Oh boy, that's a good one. Uh, <laughs> I just had to work hard all my life just to make ends meet. You know, mm -hmm. never had a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money now, but I have enough to get by, and that's all I need. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you have to work all the time uh, and you don't have time to do things you want to do, I don't know what I'm trying to say except uh, being retired now I'm being able to do what I like to do, things yeah. I haven't been able to do. Yeah. And this is one of them, traveling. Yeah. 
Yeah. You've come to the best place, I think. Oh, yeah. 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 Never been in this part of the world. No. Except in the military. So did you come to, you came to New Zealand in the military, did you? No, not to New Zealand, but no. on this hemisphere. Right, I mean, okay. You know, uh, the Philippines and the Marshall Islands. and uh, But it's not the same as being uh, a civilian. No. You know. Yeah don't get to do what you want to do <laughs> it's do what you're told to do yeah yeah oh yeah. How, how long were you in the marshall islands how long were you in the marshall islands for i was there for one whole year that was the the duty you know, wherever they sent you you spent a year there and how was that well it wasn't bad at least nobody was shooting at me and mm. uh it was on a I would, they don't even call it an island. It's actually a, um, um, it's just a piece of sand sticking out of the ocean. You know, not very big and not much to do. So uh, you just did your work every day and in the evening. Uh, Which included what? What did you do? What work did you do? Oh, well, you know, all kinds of construction work. Right. We had to maintain the base there, which involved, you know, just ordinary day-to-day -day things you would do to keep your home up or mm. fix things. What year was that? It was 1953, 54. Right. Yeah. I was only 18 when I went in the Navy. <laughs> You've had an interesting life. Yeah. A I really guess, interesting yeah. life. Can't complain. So, has New Zealand lived up to your to your what you what you thought it was going to be on your bucket list? Has it lived lived up to it? Oh, more than that. Yeah. It's uh, been unbelievable. I wouldn't have missed this trip for anything. Yeah, enjoy it very every minute of it. <laughs> and how did you? I'm just. I just want to go. Oh, Ed, you know yours are so lovely, but I just. I'm trying <laughs> to keep the questions coming, but. For people who are thinking, okay, then how did you deal with the jet lag, Ed, when you're 86? How did you deal with it? So what was the jet Did you get jet lag? I can't remember if you did. No, I think uh, the first night I slept here, I I slept mm. a straight eight hours, which I never I do at home, you know. So once I got through the first night, everything was fine. So you arrived. Let's just go through this. You left Chicago at... What time did you leave Chicago? I think it was uh, about 8 in the evening on a Wednesday. Right. And uh, we, of course, 16 hours later, we crossed the date line. So yep. that meant we got here on a Friday. Yep. And you got here Friday morning, didn't you? Because we picked you morning, up. Friday morning, yeah. About 8 o'clock in the morning, yep. I think. And then you came home. I'm just trying to go through your pa of your routine, what you did, because you didn't go to bed, did you? Oh, did you go and have a lay down? Uh, don't or remember. didn't you? I don't think so. So you stayed up. You got here at eight yeah. in the morning, and you stayed up all day. Yeah. How was that? Wasn't bad. Wasn't it? No. Oh, Ed, come on! <laughs> you must have had a fuzzy head. You must have been spinning. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, I just got into it, and uh, our hostess was so. Uh, <laughs> So I nice. made you a ham and cheese sandwich, didn't I? That kept you going. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, of course, Brian kept us busy. Yeah, I think you uh, went into town that day, didn't you? Oh, we did everything. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to keep a, a diary, but I can't remember all the things I did. Yeah, that's the trouble with the diary. You have to write it that I night, know. don't you? And I'm not good at diaries. No, me neither. Me neither. So... I think I kind of gave up on it a couple of days ago. Oh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> so you going back to the jet lag? You, so you stayed up all day, and I remember we had dinner, and then you went to bed at what time? About eight, uh, nine o'clock. Uh, I think it was about ten o'clock. And then you just I just slept eight hours till. Actually, I probably woke up and then. Uh, slept some more i think all together was eight hours right maybe 10 i don't know now how did you feel the next day when you woke up did you great 
Did you? Right. <laughs> oh, Ed. <Yeah. laughs> I'm not going to crack you, am I, Ed? <laughs> no, no. What a good night's sleep. What more can you ask for? You the know? thing is, Ed, I'm a Brit, so I'm used to, oh, it was terrible. I, we had an awful night. And you're uh, just so positive. It's just lovely. It's so nice. Well, the, the room that you gave me to stay in was beautiful. I mean, a nice, yeah. comfortable bed. And, you got uh, Tessa's room, didn't you? Yes, I did. I said, I'm a lucky guy. <laughs> Well, the reason you got that room is because, well, for a start, we thought you might go to bed earlier, but you've proved that wrong because you don't. Yeah. And we, we thought like you being like 86, you might want to go to bed at 7.30 and just, you know, do what old people do, but you don't. <laughs> you're, just, you're just up partying with us all night. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, that was the reason you got that room. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad I got it because you guys really put me through the... <laughs> the drill. We did a lot of walking, and uh, I can't walk on uh, uneven ground too good. So that was a challenge, but it was worth it. Yeah. I saw a lot of things I never would have seen. Can I just ask you before we go, what was your, what's been your highlight? Because you're leaving tomorrow, you're going back uh -huh. to Rochester tomorrow. But what's been your highlight of New Zealand about your visit to New Zealand? What's been your highlight? I think just being here in this home. Uh, oh. Last night we had a nice fire. Yeah. And uh, I think that was my highlight. Was it? Sitting out by the fire. So we lit a fire, didn't we? And uh, yeah. we sing, were, sing, sing. yeah, we were, we had our Spotify going. Sonny was playing the Spotify songs and yeah. we were going through all the oldies and singing um, Delilah, weren't we? By Tom Jones and all yeah. those ones. That was a yeah. nice night. It was lovely. It was. Yeah. It was. So I think you're a real people person, aren't you? I do like people. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I said that was going to be the last thing, but I'm just adding one more thing. So if someone said to you, um, okay, I'm 86 and I'm in pretty good health, but it's a long way and I don't want to make that flight and all the rest of it, what would you say to them, Ed? Well, if you want something bad enough, you'll go through whatever you have to go through. And that's it, I mean. It's it's not a bad thing. They feed you and give you things to drink, and <laughs> yeah, what more could you ask for? Oh, that's <laughs> that's lovely, Ed. I just want to say thank you so much for coming on the podcast and um, chatting to us. And I really hope, please, please, Ed, don't make this the last time you come to New Zealand. <laughs> please bring Anita back. Yeah, I yeah. would love to see you and Anita back here. I honestly mean that, and it's down on the podcast now, so it's <laughs> it's there forever. <laughs> Brian wants to see yeah, you. please, yeah. please come back anytime. I'd love to. Yeah. yeah anyway. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to say thank you and um, thank you for being on the podcast. And I'll see you next time you're in New Zealand, Ed. I hope so. <laughs> okay. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. That was a moment. <laughs> was that a keeper? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us this week on the podcast. We have loved having you here. If you guys could subscribe to us on iTunes and leave us a five-star review. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. That would be absolutely amazing. And make sure to share the podcast with your friends. And if you'd like to hop over to the blog, find one of the little boxes that ask you to drop your email. I will send you a newsletter every week letting you know when we have released our new podcast. That will Ooh, go nice. straight into your <laughs> inbox. So it's www itsadrama.com Alright guys, enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you next week for another podcast. Look forward to it. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.